This Android tutorial shows how to build live streaming into your app with Zego Cloud. To embed live streaming feature, we are going to integrate and customize Zego Cloud pre-built UI kit SDK into your app. Then host start a live and audience watch a live with Zego Cloud real-time or content delivery network. It's that simple. Now, we are in Android environment. The first step is to create a new app project in Android Studio and name it Live Streaming Example. On this page, you might need to wait for a while before you start it. Until now, you can add buttons on your app homepage. Click the Activity Main. Then modify the codes as shown. Now you can see two buttons. OK, here we are. We will use the Zego UI Kit pre-built live streaming fragment in your project. Firstly, you need to enter app ID and app sign, and I will show you how to find it in Zego Cloud Admin Console. Here is the page of the console after you sign in. Create your own project. And then click the edit button. OK. You can directly copy your app ID and app sign here. Now back to here, we keep going on. In our test program, you can use random strings as user ID and username. If you have your own user account system, you can use them. Next is adding the following code with multiple strings. Host and audience can use the same live ID to enter the same live streaming. You can customize the rules of live ID as you like, according to your business logic. OK, now we continue to add Zego UI Kit pre-built live streaming as dependencies. The first step is to add the Jeetpack configuration. And then we add Zego UI Kit pre-built live streaming here. The SDK starts to download after we click Sync Now. Now it has been downloaded successfully. Next, we need to create a live streaming activity. Select New Activity and Empty Activity, one by another, and we name it Live Activity. Then we go back to Main Activity and add click events to navigate and pass essential data to Live Activity. Then click Live Activity and assign an ID for its root layout. Back to the live activity and add the Zego UI kit pre built live streaming fragment like this. If your Java version is lower than 11, modify your settings by following us. Now we can start the app. OK, you have finished all the steps. You can simply run and test your app on your device. Live streaming now can be used in your app. And that is all for integrating live streaming kit and building live streaming feature in Android. Let's get started. 